Hello everyone and welcome back to a Bricks and Dragons. I kind of nudged my flower off here a little bit. Okay, so today we're looking at set 40725. This is the Cherry Blossoms. Now this is one of those sets that I know my wife was kind of looking forward to me getting for her. Um, so uh, putting this together was, you know, it just takes a little bit of time as, as always. Uh, it was really not that bad. Um, it's all, all pretty much technic here, getting all this together. Uh, sometimes it, I guess it seemed a little tedious having to try and put every one of these together, but the, you know, it's fine. Um, so when we started, we started off with, with, uh, this stalk, I'll, I'll call it a stalk here or branch or however you wanted to, to define it. Um, and this one's really just white and pink. A little bit of green in there so that really kind of pops out there and on the other one we have two different shades of pink so we get a light pink and a darker pink in the middle where we have the lighter pink on the inside here um, you know I've never really seen a cherry tree so or a cherry blossom tree so I, I really couldn't tell you um, but it is actually very pretty for what they are uh, the sets themselves you know, it took me a little bit of time just trying to get everything together. Uh, and, of course, you know, I always like to, to listen to a video or something like that or, or, you know, when I'm doing this. And these sit a little bit taller, I think, than the other ones that I have in the vase for the wife. Uh, so we'll have to see how we can arrange those to make those look good. Uh, we do have a couple extra spare pieces here which I think will work out pretty good for me because as I'm trying to come up with terrain and stuff like that for, you know, like my role-playing games or, or whatever else, or even for the city, um, I think it'll work out pretty good. Gives me a little extra color. Uh, having a brown there for, you know, if I'm doing like my fallout or something like that. Um, but, I mean, there are a, a little extra pieces here. Not something you could really make any extra flowers out of. Um, they do have the count pretty good on here, uh, which is okay. I don't have any issues with that. Um, it is interesting because when we get all the way up towards the top, we have little buds trying to, uh, sprout out and, and blossom here, which is really nice. Uh, and, you know, the very top is all blossomed out. So, you know, all in all, I do really like these. Um, I think that these sets being about $15 are pretty nice. Uh, and the fact that you can arrange them however you want. So if you want to mix match them or whatever. Um, so I'm going to try and bring this in and I'm hoping that this is all well within view. Um, yep, it looks like it. I got to look behind me. Um, so what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping to get the cherry blossoms here in the background. And I'm hoping to do this to add a little extra color for the wife. kind of wish that the extra color was a little higher uh, but this is how it sits so this is really kind of full having four flowers flower pieces in here so if if you were just to pick up this vase being a five dollar little lego ish uh, from the Britannicals or whatever uh, that vase and you're just gonna make it so that way you can put your own lego flowers in there I'm thinking four is probably the most you're going to want to do. So maybe if you got um, the cherry blossoms and whether you get a carnation or a rose or something else, I think that might be about all you're going to really want to do. Um, and it does look like it's pretty good in here. And it sits pretty good. I can wiggle it a little bit. That works out pretty nice. Adds a little extra color having the pink, pinks and the whites in there, uh, not just the, the blues here. So, I think this looks really nice. Um, it's a nice little set. Of course, it's Lego, so as far as I'm concerned, it's probably uh, on the better side. Uh, I think uh, the Britannicals here, they did pretty good do for doing the flowers. Um, but all in all, I think that this might work pretty good. I'll get this put upstairs, so hopefully my wife notices it when she comes home. Uh, maybe I can try and point it out when she comes home for lunch. So, uh, but with that being said, 
I think this is good though. And like I said, now this is fifteen dollars from Lego, so um, not very expensive if you're trying to put the stuff together with the kids or whatever. You know, uh, I don't know how long it takes to get the little fingers to try and get all these little pieces together. Uh, it's not a lot, really. This is three pieces. So we got the little leaf. We got this kind of cut out here, and then we have to put the the bloom on the inside there. So. Um, it's just that you're trying to put a bunch of them together and it's just kind of over and over and over again. So once I kind of understood after doing this one a little bit more, I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to definitely be putting that extra pink in there. Um, the darker pink inside of the lighter pink, uh, floral petals. Uh, I just started doing those ahead of time. So however I had to, whether, uh, cause if you notice there's some of them with the green, and some of them we actually have like a little this brown here so depending on how that worked out I, I just had it all preset up so whatever ever I needed to put it it worked out a little bit better and I had done some of that with these too I was like oh okay well you have a lot of them you just have to kind of put them together and it kind of worked out putting them together ahead of time so that way whenever I needed them on wherever it told me to put them that I had it so but all in all, I think it adds some pretty good color. Uh, I think the wife's going to be happy seeing it. Uh, I know she saw it last night when when she came home because I got this put together yesterday. I wasn't able to get the video done yesterday, but um, I won't get this get this put up for her. So she's got a little extra color. Um, trying to take over the the upstairs with some Legos. So, all right. With that being said, thank you so very much for joining me today sitting around the pool table and listening to the silliness of my life and uh i hope you're having a wonderful day we'll see you in the next video